Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. I'm out here with everyone's favorite boatless angler. I've got Antonio with me today, folks. And today, we're out here looking for that catfish bite. And we're gonna be using the new, relatively new, it came out last year, Sinker Slide by Thundermist Lure Company. And um, the rig is a very simple one, folks. What we've got is you put the slide on and then I tied on a, a single swivel. And that swivel is gonna act as a, as a stop for the sinker slide. And then off the swivel, what I did is I tied oh, about a foot of line uh, to a nice five odd hook. And I like to have, you can make that line as long as you want, but if it's, you know, not too long, it's easier for casting and easier for controlling. And uh, the whole idea with the sinker slide is the, the catfish will be able to pick up the bait and then the sinker slide will slide along the line and the fish will not detect the sinker and he'll be able to pick up our bait and run with it. So you got the same rig? Exact same, yep. Exact same rig, about the foot, the foot of line too? or Maybe a foot and a half. Foot and a half. So he went a little longer than I did. I went with a foot. You could go as short as you want or as long as you want. It's all personal preference. But we've got a beautiful day out here today. and. Folks, if you're turning in, tuning in just for the first time, feel free to subscribe. And then after subscribing, be sure to hit on that little bell icon for notifications. And you should always hit the bell icon for any YouTube channel that you want to keep in touch with, that's for sure. Okay, beautiful day, the sun is shining, and we're hoping for some nice catfish bite. So glad you could join us, folks. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there we go, folks. The boatless angler, he usually strikes first. <laughs> hey? Yeah. Good bite, I saw he just took your rod. I know. I thought it was the boat drifting. Nice. Definitely a fish. Nice. You got any weight to him? Not bad. I would say over 10 pounds. Ooh, okay, that's a good fish. So we're using cut bait today, folks, and uh, when we use cut bait, we like to go for the belly meat first because it has a little more scent, a little more oils, and maybe a little more fat to them. So we like to use the belly meat if we can. Chicken livers are good too. But today, folks, it's all about the cut bait. What do you got, braid line? I got braid, braid. over to a fluorocarbon leader. Yeah. And it's only about bite here too, maybe a bullhead bite, a kind of a different bite. I'm on two. Double header? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on two. Nice. There we go. Oh my, it's oh, way bigger than 10 pounds. <laughs> you got a good one. I got a decent one too here, folks. I felt them biting. I let them take it a little bit. Wow. He's going under the boat. <laughs> oh, mine's not that big. <laughs> I just got a small one. Lines to deal with here. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's one of the disadvantages of not being boatless. Holy cow. Right? Did you do it? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's a good channel cat. Oh, oh wow. wow, that's a big one. We could we could get a weight on him if oh, you want. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> solid fish. Wow. You know what? He's going to be close to 20. I mean, he's going to be all of 18 that's guaranteed that's a big channel yeah. i don't think mine's that big look at that chunk maybe 16. if you leave them in the net or actually don't leave them in the net, need need that the net. net. <laughs> i need that net oh I, this mine's a little bit i just saw a big gray mouth come out of the water it's a gray one look at it it's all gray it's a good one but not a, i don't think it's as big as yours antonio Fish though, look at that. Look at that. That's a good one too. They're twins. <laughs> oh, mine's a bit bigger. Yours is bigger. You know what, folks? We're gonna weigh both of them and we're gonna check these out and see how big these these channel cats are. First fish of the day. 
Double header. Oh, you know you're in for a good day when you get a double header. Leave them in the. Oh, you're gonna take them off the hook. Okay. Let's leave them in the net and get our trusty old weight scale here. Set the pounds. You're good. Okay, that was mine. Yeah. I say he's 13. You say 13. You're close. He's 15. 15, 11, 15, 12. He's 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 a take a. Take a pound off for the net, 14 and a half pounds. Nice. Well, let's you weigh mind? yours and then let's get a couple of photos with these two nice channel cats. So, Oops. yeah, let's get him out of the net. Put yours in the net, we'll weigh yours. I think yours is a little bit heavier for sure. Get that in there again. Let's see how close I was. 17, 6. 17, 6, so 16 and a half pounds. I said 16. I said 16, so I was pretty close. All right, we're gonna grab, grab a quick photo, folks, and we're gonna release these fish. What a start already. Smile. Beautiful. Nice photo op for our Facebook and Instagram friends. Look at this, folks, what a start to our day. These are two beauties, two real nice channel cats right here, and they're going right back in the water. Whoa. Let yours go first. Antonio lean over. Most mo most of the weight is on the back of the boat, folks. <laughs> there we go. And that wasn't because of the heavier fish either. <laughs> oh, look at the slime! Lots of slime on these guys. I'll have to we'll get that washed off. But we're gonna freshen up and get our lines right back out there again. That was a beautiful, beautiful start. Right there. I've only got about a one. That's about a, oh, it's a one ounce sinker. It doesn't matter how heavy the sinker is with the sinker slides because they don't detect the weight. So just use the sinker heavy enough to get you out there. And, uh, and I'm gonna use the same bait actually. Yeah. I'm gonna use the same bait, get it out there again. And you should change your bait every 20 minutes to half hour. Our lines were only out there for 10 minutes. So. If you're limited on cut bait, folks, what you could do to keep your bait fresh and scented, if you if you only have a little bit of cut bait, bring some commercial scents with you and rub some scent on it, and then you could reuse that particular cut bait. In fact, you could even let your, your baits sit in some of that scent, and it'll absorb it, and that'll help you if you're limited with your, with your cut bait. Okay, now the fresh bait is paying off, is it? Is it? It is. Well, we'll see if mine is still good enough to produce a hit. Feels like another good one? You know what? I think it is. Another good one, eh? Oh boy, folks, this is channel cat fishing at its best right here. Oh wow. I think I might have a bit of a bite here. As well. Really? Well, I thought I felt a little. Wouldn't that be something to get another double header? That'd be rare. Amazing. Look at that rod. Your rod is just doubled right over. That's another good fish. Okay, let me get you on that. We're... Uh oh There we go. I can't help it. <laughs> We're limited with room here, folks. We've got the little car topper going. Oh, yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, I just saw the big, big wow. boil. That's what I saw. The doing? big powerful tails on those channel cats. He didn't fight out there, and that's the problem. Now he's fighting the boat. Well, he's realizing he's just he's realizing now he's in trouble. Oh, that's another good fish. Not as big as the other one. Oh, well, I don't know. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> That's another chunk, folks. That's another chunk. Oh my goodness. I think we're in for a day today and we've honestly just started, folks. That was that that fish didn't take what? Five minutes? Not even. That's another good chunk. Not as big though. I'm no. gonna say he's a good solid ten anyway. Yeah. Right? Nine, ten pounds? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's about nine or ten. 
Nice colors on them, beautiful, healthy fish. Gotta love that. Okay, now you just put that bait on. I'm not gonna change it. You're not gonna change it, okay, because you literally just put it on. There we go. There's a nice hook step right there, folks. Oh, did I crash your line? I think you did, yeah. Oh, there's a nice hook set right there. That's a beauty. And speaking of hook set, folks, both Antonio and I are using a five odd hook, octopus style hook, and I love that size five odd hook for Channel Cat. It's my preferred size for sure. And with this rig, we tie our own, we smell our own hooks. And I actually have a very, oops, there goes my hat. Oh well, don't need my hat. I actually have a video we put together on how to smell a hook. I've got a very easy, very easy way to smell a hook. I'll put a link here for you. Here, I told you I'm hatless. That wind picked up just like they said it would today, folks. They called it. This feels like another, another good fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh not bad. They could have been a drag. That's not a bad fish. He's taking a bit of drag. Oh, he just woke up. <laughs> this is great fishing, folks. I love it. Okay. Pounder maybe? Yeah, that's it. He looks like 10. Let's take a closer look at him folks. Okay, just for the heck of it, we're gonna weigh this fish. Although I don't know, he's not he's not that big. Nah, he's maybe eight. Maybe eight pounds. Actually. 11, 11, 12. So he's he's a good 10 pounds. Actually, yeah, I thought he was 10 originally. But good 10 pounder yeah nice fish okay oh yeah take it easy there mr. channel cat we're gonna get you right back in again there we go that's a good 10 pounder right there folks nice channel cat okay back in he goes slimed I am we're gonna re-rig and get right back out there again folks this is phenomenal I got one too. No water. I got, we got another double, folks. <laughs> we got a, we got another double. Oh boy, what are the chances of that happening? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Now Antonio said he's running braided line. And it's no problem for those Thunderbird sinker slides because they're braid tough. That's for sure. And the reason, folks, the reason for the single swivel. It acts as a natural stop. Oh, mine's peeling. Crossed. Oh my, he's peeling. He went under yours. Got a good one then. Wow. The uh, the swivel, folks, acts as a natural stop for the sinker slide, but it also, wow, they're going all over. <laughs> it also helps prevent line twist. Now we could have tied on a T-turn and put two hooks on, but we went with a single swivel. Hold on, let me get transfer here. Can you do it? Yeah. Okay. And the other thing to tie the swivel on. Oh, that's a good fish. You got a good one. That's a good fish. Let's see if I can get him in. Oh, that's a good one. You got a you got a good chunk. Yeah, we use a single uni knot to tie the swivel on. And in fact we got a video on that. I'll put a link here for you. Oh I got a good one too. Same net. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. I think mine's a little bigger than yours. yours is a lot, mine, a lot is, mine is a lot bigger. I'll take it. Let's check out these fish. That's yours, right? This one's mine. Take it mine off. Oh. Yeah, this guy's probably maybe nine pounds. Oh boy, mine inhaled. I inhaled it. This one's more than nine. That's a beautiful fish right there. I'm gonna need the pliers to get him out. But what a day we're having here today, folks. Oh my goodness. Okay, let that one go. We'll get the pliers.
pliers, we'll let this one go. But you know what, folks? Channel cat fishing. Oh my God, it's a lot of fun. The bites are great. The sinker slide lets them pick it up and run with it. And you can be rewarded with a real nice fish. Oh, this is phenomenal. Folks, I want to thank you ever so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. If you haven't tried catfishing yet, give it a try. It is a lot of fun. Big or small, doesn't matter. Antonio, I need the, I need the needle nose. <laughs>